is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm working on the John Boat. I feel like I haven't worked on the John Boat in a while. Probably since that last camping trip I took. So probably about a week or so. But today we're making a few changes to the John Boat. So when I took this thing out on the water, I realized the back was pretty heavy. I have the outboard motor on there. And then I have two batteries in the back and the gas tank and that makes it pretty heavy so what I'm going to do is go ahead and move the battery that was right here up to the front I already tested that out in the water and it works out great it lifts the back of the boat up about three inches so that is good and what I need so there's gonna be a few changes just because I moved that one battery this anchor light and the bilge pump was all connected to this battery and all the LEDs up front was gonna run back to this battery as well and be connected to this switch panel and to this fuse block. But the battery is now going up front. This switch panel and this fuse block is gonna stay here. I'm just gonna connect the anchor light and the bilge pump to this battery. So this battery was just gonna be for the trolling motor but now it's gonna run the nav light and bilge pump as well. But that's okay because the bilge pump, I only turn on for like three seconds if I even need to. Most of the times I never need to. And then this anchor light is for fishing at night. And I haven't even gone fishing at night yet. So I do plan on going fishing at night. So uh, I will be using that at some point, but it shouldn't take up too much energy for the trolling motor battery. Another thing it's gonna change is I had this battery charger. This is an onboard battery charger. It stays in the boat at all times. That other battery was connected to this as well on the other side, but this will not reach all the way to the front of the battery. So one thing that's gonna suck about this change is every time I need to charge the batteries, I'm gonna have to take this one out, walk it over here and connect it to the charger and then charge it that way, which really is gonna suck, but oh well, it needs to be done. So let's go up to the front. I'll show you all a few more changes. So like I showed y'all in the back, I had a switch panel in the fuse block and I already ordered a new switch panel and the fuse block is still in the mail. This is the same exact switch panel in the back so that it will match. I also ordered the same exact fuse block, but that should be in the mail today or either tomorrow. Should be here soon. But so in the front, this is where I want the battery to be. Not right there, but Slid right there in the center just like that That way it's balanced and then as you can see I still have all of these cords hanging down Those are all LEDs I have an LED strip right here one on that side one up here. I'm gonna have This nav light running. That's this wire here. I have LED strips under there under there and two right here. So there's LED lights all under this deck and on top of the deck. And I'm also going to have this fish finder up here as well. So all of this wiring is under this deck and that is one good thing about moving this battery up front. It will be way easier to run than running all of these wires to the back. So that is one pro about moving the battery. There's pros and there's cons to moving this battery. But uh, it needs to be done. It's a lot of work. It's just gonna take a little bit more time. But I don't mind doing the work if it's gonna make the boat better and safer. I went ahead and took off the kill switch that was connected to this battery in the back. But now it's gonna go to the front. So I'm gonna have a kill switch, a switch panel, and a fuse block all to this battery. And then what I'm gonna do is I build like a box or something, maybe just a wall right there with plywood and connect all the hardware to that. And that way that is stationary. And then run some battery cables to the battery that are a little bit longer just so I can slide the battery this way and take the battery out of the hatch. So that's the game plan for that. In the back, now that I took out the battery and the wiring, the bilge pump and anchor light are not connected to any batteries. So what I need to do now is run some wire, positive and negative, from the fuse block behind the gas tank and over to this battery here. And that will all be connected back up how it was before. 
it's all connected still to the switch panel and fuse block it just needs a battery to power it and so that will be an easy fix back here I'm gonna need to uh, zip tie these wires up in here okay so first thing I did was I tucked away all these wires as you can see you cannot see the wires inside this compartment so now I can throw in my tackle boxes and not have to worry about that hitting any wires next thing I want to do is work on the wires up front so I have all this extra wire this was running under this bench and through this rib and gonna go back there but now that I'm changing the battery up here I don't need all of this extra wire if you were wondering yes the lid can still fit under there it is a very tight fit but it fits and of course you can still slide it out but man that is a very tight fit I could put the switch panel up and through the deck like I did in the back so on the back the panel is on top of the deck I could do the same thing the wires will run right here and I could put it there I mean that's a spot where no one really steps I will actually never mind they will step there so I flipped up the trolling motor and after looking at this this would fit right under there and my thinking of putting it right there is let me show you okay so the trolling motor is flipped up so if I put the switch panel right here it's going to basically blend in with this you mean you can't step right here anyways because the trolling motor so adding the switch panel right here will just extend that place you can't step but if I went and put it right here there's gonna be a place you can't step a gap you can step and another place you can't step and then a gap you can step so I feel like that that's stupid I mean this is a good spot where we fish so I feel like if we just put it right there that will be perfect and it won't make too big of a difference where you can and can't step okay so I just made a template for the switch panel this is exactly where it's gonna go so I'm gonna go ahead and trace a line on the carpet and then we can cut out this square Now we can go get the drill, drill some holes, and then a jigsaw and cut out the square in the plywood. Alright, so here is the second control panel installed on the boat. This will control all of the LED lights on and under the deck and the front nav light. Of course, I still have to do all the wiring underneath, but that is how it's going to look. Alright, so I've been doing some thinking and this wire that charges the battery that was over there that now needs to charge the battery that's up there, I talked about walking it to the back but I extended this wire out if I did run this cable to the battery up there it would go down through here under this bench come out there and follow this white wire all the way up to the front and then come out there and then straight to the battery here and the wire already extends to here so if I was to cut right here and add an extension to that it would only need about six more feet of wire so I'm gonna go ahead and do that it should be alright okay so I'm gonna go ahead and snip this wire right here and I will use all this on the other end going to the battery so I will use about that much 
cut that. So like I said, this end will be used down here. And I need to go get some wire gauge to match this wire gauge. I'm not sure. I have to figure out what size that is. It doesn't say on it. But I'm gonna go ahead and run this through the bench and have it come out here. All right. So now we have that all tucked behind under the bench and it comes out right here. All right, did some more research and got some great news. The wire on the NOCO Genius onboard battery charger is 14 gauge wire, which means I have 14 gauge wire here, which is marine grade. So that means I can go ahead and extend the wires right now. Uh, I guess, I don't know, for some reason it bundled together made the wires look bigger. So I thought it was bigger than 14 gauge, but it's not, it is 14 gauge. Even more good news, it says the NOCO DC leads can be extended up to 10 additional feet after the inline fuse, but not before it. So, I just need to extend mine about six feet. So, I am golden to extend these wires and it is going to work out perfect. That makes me happy. All right, all my worries are gone once again. So, you probably think I'm jumping all over the place right now, and I am. I just connected this panel, got that in place, and then I jumped over there and cut the wire to that. And why I'm doing that is because basically I'm checking off a mental list. When I see this entire boat project, it is a lot of work and it makes me unmotivated just because it is so much work. So I basically have a mental checklist in my head of everything I need to do. So if I can mentally check off more things on my list that I have in my head, it makes the project seem more done and it makes me worry way less about everything I need to do. So that is why I'm bouncing all over the place. All right guys, so there is a quick update on the John boat. Like I said, it's been about a week since I worked on it and I actually miss working on it. I was working on it today and I caught myself like, this is awesome. <laughs> so I'm happy to be back, but uh, I'm going on a camping trip in two days and I'm taking the John boat with me. So I need to bust out all of this work I need to do all the wiring, getting the battery all set up. I need to bust that out in one day. So I'm going to quickly edit this video and then come back out here and work on this John boat tonight and get a lot done so I can finish this boat tomorrow and take it on the very first camping trip. So once again, this was a quick update. I'm back to working on the John boat. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. This boat's gonna be sick. It's almost done. It will be done in a few days. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.